Okay, video walkthrough of the Roamer. Um, it's uh, been off-roading, so I'll get that cleaned, obviously. But here's the here's the Roamer. I'm gonna do a quick walk around the front. Huge light bars, so you can light up any campsite. Super bright, um, not street legal. Um, winch in the front, um, in case you get stuck somewhere. Uh, 16,000 pound winch. Um, here we go. Like I mentioned, each four wheel is in, wheels are independently air suspended. And I'll show you how that works. Um, just going around the back externally. This is to to plug in if you want to use shore power. Um, this is the diesel fuel. Um, there's lights outside. There's 360 security cameras, which I'll show you inside. Uh, this is the toilet thing, which I'll show you. Um, exterior storage, so plenty of storage back here. A couple things I want to show you here. Um, two bike racks, um, so you mentioned bikes, so you can take two bikes up here. Um, I'll open this, so this is a good storage for camping chairs and other equipment. This other box to the right is an exterior kitchen with a whole grill situation, which is really cool. Um, really fun there. These storage boxes open, they swing open. I'll give you a view of that. You mentioned tools as well, um, so I'll show you that. But uh, meantime, storage in the back, there's a very long storage. So we have longer items, I use it for skis um, in the winter. Um, long things like a you know, big sort of tent thing or whatever you need long long storage in the summer for, very helpful there. Spare tire and max tracks if you get stuck in the mud or whatever. And then in this big storage cabinet is all the tools you might need. So you have the shovel um, and the ax, which is required for some states for off-roading. Um, and then you have a complete tool set, you know, wrenches, hammer, like the whole thing in these bags and in here, um, different plugs, different hoses for water and so on. So everything you need to basically rebuild the thing if needed is located back here. Um, so should have no problems with that. So yeah, total tool sets and everything you need. All right, I'm gonna close these. Re real easy to use. The good news also is that with the, the key system, the regular Ford key, all of these boxes lock automatically. And so these are now locked. You cannot open them. Um, and then they unlock with the key. So that's for the front doors. That's for the side door we'll go into and all the storage boxes. So nice little feature there. Um, we'll take you to this side. This is the exterior shower, which is really great. It's winterized right now, but you use the little key to get into any of these things. And the exterior shower is really great because it's got hot and cold water. You can pull this thing out, take a shower outside, spray off your dog, spray off your shoes if they're muddy or whatever. Uh, real nice. Um, I've taken showers, you know, outside before. Or if you go to a beach or something, you can get the sand off. So that's real nice. Um, finally, over here, this is where you put your water in. And this is where you can have um, power if you're out here hanging out. This is the awning up here. The awning automatically comes out all the way out um, and is able to have a nice little uh, hangout area here. Um, this is the side, obviously, you can go in and out. And so this is where I would set up camp with a big tarp um, on the ground and the awning out. And then you have power if you want for music or for whatever. Um, and that's that. The other thing I'll show you in the cab here is we have four captain's chairs. So for your four people, when you're driving, you have a safe, safe way to, to sit. Um, this is the Starlink, um, so this can be moved, but that's basically your internet for whenever you're in the middle of nowhere or you'd like high-speed internet in the middle of a you know, national park where there's no cell service. So super easy to set up. Uh, and then you have the four captain's chairs for comfort back here, uh, plus obviously the, the front two uh, in the cab. Um, I'm going to turn on, so you can turn on the, the truck with the, the starter here. 
Um, and actually, let me get in and turn it on. But I want, I want to show you the suspension system quick, um, which is, well, a couple things inside. So number one, this interface is the airlift for all the four wheels. You can see the pressure under all four. So if you're at camp and you're off center, you can increase the front right, which would be pressing this button. It's all really easy to use. You can press the top one to lift the entire truck up. We're actually going up right now. You can always go all the way down or in the middle or then individually manipulate each wheel on this board. So up and down. You'll see the, you probably can't see this, but the truck's kind of going side to side. So that's great on when you get to camp and you just level it out automatically. There's also an app for that uh, if you're so inclined to use the app instead. Additionally, we have a rear view camera here. That's basically your rear view mirror. It's a camera because you can't obviously see through the back. Um, so it's a camera system. We also have an under chassis camera that you flip up, up here, these switches. Chassis camera that shows you underneath rooftop camera that shows you what's going on on top so you can make sure you're not scraping the solar panels on something or whatever that your clearance is good it's 12 feet tall so make sure under bridges you have at least 12 feet of clearance uh, and if it's about it's as close if it says 12 feet or 12 foot one or whatever you can adjust all the wheels all the way down and then duck under something if needed obviously turning the camera on and saying all right i'm just going to dip under these trees or whatever it is so that's really handy in here, I'll just round out the interior. We have two different fuel tanks. One that's the main fuel tank, that's 35 uh, or 45 gallons. We have the auxiliary fuel tank, that's uh, another 55 gallons uh, or so, maybe more. Um, this one's low right now. Um, this one's half full. So um, whenever you fill the tanks, they'll automatically balance. So you don't have to worry about one or the other getting empty. You can just drive it until both are empty and then you fill back up. Um, this gauge here in the center console is a tire pressure gauge to see um, you want the back wheels to be approximately 90 and the front to be approximately 40. They're a little low right now, but that's okay. Um, we have a um, uh, air compressor on, uh, on board um, where you can easily air up and air down the tires. Um, I have a, there's a hose for it and there's actually four different um, air compressor chucks that you just plug the hose into and then you can uh, air up your wheels or air down your wheels. If you're going off-roading, you, you air them down. If you're regular highway driving, you air them back up to the 90 and 40. Super easy to do. There's a chuck in the front or on the side here. There's a chuck on the other side. There's a chuck in the front um, under here. Um, you can see it right here. There it is. And then there's a chuck uh, in the back as well. All right, so let's go into the inside um, where these stairs actually, I have them locked and, and out, but I'll show you turning that off. So you turn, press the entry step button here off. That means it'll go in and out. So you'll see the stairs go in. Um, also, if you forget the stairs and then you drive away, they'll automatically go in. Um, but good to, even if that button's on, but good to know um, that they'll come out and then you can lock them. If you don't want them to come in and out the whole time because you're at camp, you just hit that button and they stay on. Okay, we have exterior lighting here, interior of the awning right here, ex retract and extend. Um, so you come into the cab here or the camper, turn on all the lights here if you like, and then you come on in. Sorry, there's a little bit of stuff on my ski gear here, but um so going from the left here we have uh, a bunch of storage these are all just drawers that'll be empty uh, for storage clothes and such uh wine rack um so wine glasses and wine bottles um these are all independently secured in there you take this thing out so that they don't jiggle or break um, these are all earth roamer branded super nice glasses um same thing with uh, wine openers and such down here um, we have the next door is um, closet space, so hanging and shoes and such, whatever. Then we have the bathroom um, here, which is a bathroom um, shower combination. 
Uh, super good water pressure, really nice. You have a clothing dry rack up here that you can move in and out. You have a bathroom fan for exhaust, either in or out. It's a heater too, if you want. Um, and so, and then the, you know, you just take a shower in here and that drains out down there. Um, so it's like a wet bath shower combo thing. That's actually roomier than you think. Um, you know, I can take a comfortable shower in here and it's got nice water pressure. Nice, another nice thing is that I'm going into the shower now. I'm standing in the bathroom. These doors um, open like this and then they, and then they clasp. Sorry about the video quality. They clasp here together. I'm doing this with one hand, but here I'll show you. They clasp, clasp together so that you have both the shower area plus this whole changing area if you want pri privacy um, to, so that's kind of a nice feature. And then there's a shower curtain if you want to obviously keep the, uh, the water out. So it's kind of a nice feature. All right, and then we'll get into the kitchen area. Kitchen's got a convection oven microwave combination. So you can either bake in there um, with these things or you microwave, you take the metal out obviously. And it just, you just hit convection roast, convection bake or regular microwave and it's flexible there. Like I mentioned, no generator needed. It all operates off the lithium ion batteries. So no worries there. Um, this is a freezer, pretty good room in there. And then, uh, uh, the refrigerator again, really good room. Um, a lot bigger than most RVs. All right. We have the galley here. Sorry, a little garbage. Garbage goes in here underneath. Um, we have a induction cook stove top. You asked about coffee maker, uh, Nespresso machine mounted. Um, so that's easy to use. You just fill that with water and all the water is potable. Um, and so, um, that's really easy. Um, oh, and then you asked about dishes. So the dishes are uh, come with it. Um, so dishes are all, um, uh, custom, um, custom design so that they all stick here. So the bowls, you know, nothing rattles, nothing breaks when you're off-roading or whatever. Um, so you have mugs, you have bowls, you have all your plates and glasses up here. So everything is individually secured, which is really nice. So all high quality earth roamer branded stuff. Um, same thing with uh, utensils, uh, which are here, um, all individually organized, plus a really nice Shun knife set so super sharp amazing japanese knives um, in there we also have all your cookware which would be this thing this is like a, a russian doll where there's like seven or eight different ones there's pans pots everything but they all fit together like a puzzle so it all takes just one drawer um, so these are all induction so you take them out you can have you know a deep pot small pot frying pan whatever you need all in there Okay, so that brings us to, so my layout is the Gunnison, which has a single induction. I traded a, a longer galley in, in exchange for a longer couch seating and sleeping area. Um, so my brother who's 6'3", uh, he sleeps here when we're out. Um, what this does is automatically with these buttons um, moves to a bed. So you do the sofa out, which you'll see that's coming out. And this basically lies flat into a comfortable bed with these cushions then being secured underneath. So you have a totally flat bed situation here. Put a sheet over it, it's really comfy. Um, so that's your second bed. Um, I'm gonna move it back in. Sorry about the video quality here, but you'll see that that, oh, and one thing before I move it in, these countertops go up automatically with this uh, button. So if you want more countertop space, both of these go all the way up flush against the galley here so you can cook or cut things there cutting board we have a cutting board built into and such and so put these back down also what these operate as is like a, a lazy boy type situation where when these cushions are secured um, against uh, these cushions you can move you can recline this out and then use these backboards to, you know, move the cushions up. Uh, and I'll show you how that works in a second, but it's really nice for when you're watching TV. Um, and I'll show you how that works as well. Again, apologies for the video quality. Okay, the windows are really great. So you can have, um, first of all, these windows are double pane, super high quality. 
they'll they'll stop wherever you ask them to so you just move it up it stays right there so you can get a nice cross breeze on both sides um, you can have them uh, bug screen all magnetic so that's the bug screen or you can have it fully blacked out where then no one can see inside even if you have all the lights blasting no one could even see a, a whisper of light from the outside i've tested it too really nice so all the windows are total blackout or put them down and get your breeze or bug screens um, you have storage above so besides the ones that are the built-in um, you have extra storage i keep you know vitamins and just different stuff up there i'll have that cleared out of course um same thing up here this is the like this is like the dinette um area i have some ski gear there same thing with the window over here i'll just open them up so you can kind of see the nice room um and then i have um a couple cool things to show you in here which is um we have a uh security system so um, we'll turn on that display and that'll get fired up. We have a, uh, oh, a second. turning on the inverter. Um, we have a, a second TV here. This is the office TV for me where underneath there's an HDMI input. I put my computer on the desk, fire that TV up. It's a smart TV, it has Netflix and everything else too, but um, that's what I use for work. Um, so I have dual screens for my meetings and I can do a PowerPoint or whatever. Here's the security system. So that's a 360 degree view around the truck. Um, obviously uh, really helpful um, there. So um, we then have the uh, electronics. So it's all digital iPad controlled. You can also have a separate iPad that's connected so you can control it from sitting outside and camping and control everything on the whole truck lock the doors, unlock the doors, turn on the display. All the lights are here. You have your camper battery gauge. So you can see I'm at 60% camper battery. That's the lithium ions that get charged by the solar. You can see that I'm charging net charging solar right now, um, but I'm drawing 86 amps for all the lights that are on right now. Um, so that's good to pay attention to. I have auto charge enable, which means if the battery gets too low and the solar's not producing enough in, at night or in the winter if it's cloudy then it'll just kick on the the engine of the truck and it'll recharge the batteries automatically so you don't have to worry about again any generators ever frost protection because it's winter that keeps the pipes not frozen water pump turns on and on the water often on the water pump you have to use the water pump in order to use the shower and all the faucets obviously and then you turn it off when you're not using it or else it'll you know drain the battery um, but that's easy to do. Hit the water pump. You have fresh water, 100 gallons, so it's at 67%, 67 gallons. Gray water tank's empty right now. So it shows you all the critical things. You can even operate the sofa up and down from here. Um, you can put on, um, we have uh, he Philips Hue lighting, so different color lighting if you want. There's all these Hue uh, strips everywhere, which is cool. Um, you can change the different settings of lights, dim, overhead, night light night light's cool if you're gonna go to the bathroom or something and you don't want to you know get too much light in here you hit the night light button which is nice um, so there's all kinds of different lighting settings you can customize them they're all dim dimmable up and down so you can kind of do whatever lighting you like um, and then you know there's other stuff like shore power and such that you can manipulate from here so and then everything's controlled in here too where right now i have the wi-fi off but i can turn the wi-fi on um, we have then a Wi-Fi router that uh, operates and then will make all the TVs work with the Wi-Fi. It's all automatically connected. We have a Sonos soundbar um, where you can listen to music with the Sonos app, which I can set you up with uh, if you're not familiar. Um, the entertainment system is really cool. So the entertainment system is locked basically against the in, in the in the bed, which is a king size bed, by the way. Um, so plenty of room for, for two people. Uh, really nice king size bed. There's a bunch of windows all around. Also the rooftop hatch, which I'll show you. Um, and then the TV um, unhooks here. And then basically you pull the TV out. And I'm trying to do this with one hand. There's handles on the side. And then basically you can have the TV towards the kitchen. So you can watch TV or whatever. Again, all Wi-Fi, smart TV. I have YouTube TV on there. So 
watch live TV, sports, movies, whatever, have it face that way, or you pull it out and pull it down. So I'll just show you step by step what I did. I pulled it, oop, I almost fell. Um, pull, pull the TV down, and then you can move it into in front of the window area, for example, here. And I'll show this side view, right? So there, so it's across from the couch and imagine, sorry, I'm just not gonna fix these right now, but imagine this is just a nice couch. You sit on the couch here, and then that's where you can use the recliner. So you put the sofa, um, the sofa out. That's reclining myself out now. Put the counters a little bit up for back support. Kick your feet up, watch TV right here, which is nice. You can also flip this all the way around if you're hanging out outside and you wanna watch TV outside, like you're tailgating and you wanna watch sports, whatever it is, that can be a cool setup as well. Um, okay, finally, last things I'll show you is the bunk here, which is, first of all, these stairs come out, which is really nice, um, so you can easily get up and down um, into the bunk. And so I'm gonna take you up into the bunk here. The bunk's really comfortable. Um, it's a really nice foam, king size mattress. You have another whole display where you can, it's everything that the other one has. So locking doors, turning off and on lights, controlling everything, making sure the battery's good. It's all the same interface here as the other one I showed you, but it's right in the bunk. So you don't have to get up and do anything in the middle of the night if you wanna change something or whatever, turn on lights, etc. The bunk has all these lights as well. There's a red one for, you know, um, nighttime if you don't wanna wake up or whatever, but you wanna look for something. There's also reading lights, red and off. There's also, I'm climbing up here, got these windows. There's the same windows everywhere, which are openable, right? Get some fresh air, super nice. Same thing, blackout, bug screen or open, close, easy to use. The hatch is one of my favorite features, really fun. Open this, open these windows again, same type of windows. Open that, it's it stops wherever you want it to, whatever. I have a tree above me right now, but, and then you can come up here onto the solar panels. There's your camera. But cool thing about the top here, solar panels are super sturdy. And so while you don't wanna probably jump on them, you know, up and down, I'm actually gonna climb up onto them. You can totally hang up, hang out up here. Obviously don't fall off, but unlike other RVs where there's ladders, they've chosen not to have ladders on the outside for safety reasons to have not, no one be able to climb up here. But as you'll see, I'm standing up here and you can hang out up here. It's really nice. So if you're in a national park, you want a good view or wherever, you know, I went to do 4th of July fireworks and sat up here. I actually will give you these chairs that are like stadium chairs where you put them down and you have back support um, where you can hang out up here. We bring blankets up, check out the stars. You know, it's kind of an amazing situation. And since there's such sturdy solar panels, um, it allows you to use this space as a hangout area, which is really fun. Again, um, don't fall off. Cool. <coughs> so I'm gonna go back into the bunk. Actually, I'm gonna end this, this video now. I think I've showed you most stuff. I'll send you more pictures and we can go from there. Okay. Thanks very much.